Welcome to One Minute in the Word. Today's scripture is 1 Kings 17 and verse 17. It says, Sometime later, the son of the woman who owned the house became sick. He grew worse and worse and finally stopped breathing. This verse is not one you will find copied and put on Facebook. This verse is not a redeeming, happy, miraculous or motivating verse from scripture. In fact, it does not inspire faith. This verse is a raw reality of life. The verse says his condition got worse and worse. Eventually there was no breath. This boy died. When preparing for this talk, I thought perhaps I should skip this verse. But God very clearly said to me, no, speak on it, because disappointment, disaster and distress often come after a mighty miracle. God has sustained this boy's life. He's given him food in famine. And then he suddenly becomes sick. And we don't know why, but we can assume it's not from hunger. He becomes worse and worse, and his mother would have held on and held on and cared for him and cared for him. But sooner or later, she had to come to terms with death. And so do we, for we all die, and one day all of our loved ones will die too. Is death foreign to the scriptures? Most definitely not. Amongst all of the mentions of death, recorded in the Bible, there is one mighty record that Jesus himself died. And in doing so, he sent a direct message to the rest of the human race, to the enemy of our souls and to heaven itself. Death is the worst and final enemy. But in the morning, joy will come for Jesus rose again. Our God will be with us in all heartache, even the heartache of death. Some of us have very real experiences of his comfort in the midst of death and grief. Bereavement is the worst and painful thing one can suffer on this earth, it seems. But God gives us his presence. Death is a door, a very painful door perhaps, but one that we only have to pass through once. If I allow God, he will be there in these times, the times where I lose loved ones and the time when I have to pass through death myself. As it gets worse and worse, he will be nearer and nearer. The flesh may fail, but the Lord will prevail. Not even death separates me from his love and today he is reaching out to prove it. The Bible is very, very raw. It does not skip over the worst times of life. But they're recorded there for us to see that God is aware when death happens, when grief happens, when pain happens. He won't skip over it, he won't deny it, and he won't avoid it. But he will be with you in it. Will you let him today?